Metcalf, who created Ethernet, famously coined Metcalf's Law, which is the value of a network is proportional to the square of the number of nodes in the network. If a network of size 10 would have a value of 100, a network of a size 100 would have a value of 10,000. It's not just 10x more, it's 100x more. So you want to be in a network effect business. If you're number one in the network effect business, you win everything. One of the dirty secrets of Silicon Valley is that a lot of the winning businesses are natural monopolies. What is a network effect? Let's just define it precisely. A network effect is when each additional user adds value to the existing user base. So your users themselves are creating some value for the existing users. The classic example that I think everybody can understand is language. Let's say that there's 100 people who live in the community who speak 10 different languages, and each person just speaks one of those 10. You're having to translate all the time. It's incredibly painful. If all 100 of you spoke the same language, it would add tremendous value. 10 people start out speaking 10 languages, one extra person learns English. Well, now all of a sudden, 11 people know English. So the next person who comes in to learn a new language is probably going to choose English. At some point, let's say English gets to 20 or 25 people, it's done. It's just going to own the entire language marketplace and the rest of the languages will get competed out. effects are a very powerful concept. When you're picking a business model, it's really good idea to pick a model where you can benefit from network effects, low marginal costs, and scale economies. And these tend to go together. Like anything that has zero marginal cost of production obviously has scale economies. And things that have zero marginal cost of reproduction very often tend to have network effects because it doesn't cost you anything more to stamp out the thing. So then you can just create little hooks for users to add value to each other. So you should always be thinking about how your users, your customers, can add value to each other. Because that is the ultimate form of leverage. You're on the beach in the Bahamas, or you're sleeping at night, and your customers are adding value to each other.